Greetings, this is Fashayo. I'm reporting live from my floor in my room. It used to be my garage. Um, but I just want to talk about something really simple, um, which is force. I realize that a lot of times, and we talk about this a lot, my um, teacher, yoga teacher, we talk about it a lot off and on. We talk about force and how um, one way she gave an example, I don't know if I told y'all this before, but um, how when we're babies, you know, with a baby, if they got to pee, they just pee. If they got to poop, they got to poop. If it's funny, they laugh. If it's sad, if it's sad they cry, you know, and that's kind of how she explained it. So, of course, I don't recommend as adults that you pee and poop on yourself, but I also don't recommend you hold it because you're forcing your body to do something that it's not supposed to do. So, um, I'm sitting here and I'm supposed to be doing this 30 minute sequence for class. And I found a sequence that I like, I like most of it. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, I've been sitting here forever. I mean, like writing it down, like see, this is my little journal I'm about me. So I, you know, I'm writing it down, I'm writing down, you know, all the sequence and then that's my book. You know, that's like the um, Sun Salutation A. And then this is the magazine, which is Yoga Journal, that um, I really like this particular sequence. And this, okay, sorry about that. Um, so I've been sitting here, you know, I'm like, well, I'm gonna write it in the journal <clears throat> and then I'll be able to follow it and all that kind of stuff. But what I realized is, not even what I realized, I knew this about myself, but I think I was so concerned about what um, my teacher might think and what my um, classmates might think. If I show up with a magazine that I have, you know, written notes in because there are things that I want to change about it or that I want to give options to do or not do. Um, and I was concerned about that. So I'm like laying down here really trying to make myself do it in a way that I think will be presentable to my teacher and my classmates rather than offering them what I think is the best that I can offer them. Um, and so I was forcing myself to do something that just did Right, so my camera cut off because I didn't listen to my Ori when I should have erased the stuff that was already on my camera. Um, but anyway, so I was forcing myself to do something that um, was actually more difficult and not as, um, it was more difficult and it, it was just, it just was not in line. Um, and so basically it, it can, you know, doing things with force, I was saying can, cause um, an internal dissonance and it can also um, cause a dissonance between you and other people so when we get into this whole attitude and um, and way of forcefulness um, it's just not it's just not a way to live it's and I was saying that I think I think I don't know if it would be an imbalanced masculine energy but I do believe that it's somewhat a masculine energy it's is because um, if you look at it, it's almost like the attitude of wars. It's the attitude of um, selfishness uh, or self-focused attitudes, which I do think you always, you do need to work on yourself. You do need to try to reach your highest destiny and all those things. But I also truly deeply believe that you do so to make the world and your personal environment and the, well, the, your personal environment and the world at large a better place. Um, so, you know, it's like, I'm just, I really was just thinking about how many things that I forced myself to do. I forced myself to stay up late. Um, I forced myself to eat past satisfaction. I forced myself to drink past satisfaction. Um, just and this is it really is a form of um himza is harmfulness you know hurtfulness um abuse you know when you're forcing um and i know those of us with children sometimes it's very hard to find 
the balance between the two. Um, but all things are balanced. You know, all things and all things just seeking balance. So anyway, um, so I've decided that I'm going to do what I feel like is best. I have kind of explored the whole thought process of, you know, how am I presenting this? And, you know, how do I, you know, I, I did all that. And I've come to that. I mean, if you see something that works, do that. You know, don't see something that works and make the shit difficult. Just do that. So we will be doing three sun salutations to heat ourselves up. And then we will go into this lovely sequence that uh, Claire Missingham in Yoga Journal came up with with a couple of fascio adjustments. And then we're going to go on with our day and have fun. So anyway, that was all I wanted to share. Um, I don't know if she's still under here. Can y'all see my little friend? I hope so. This is the lizard from the other day. I don't know why my thing won't clear up. Let's see. There we go. I guess it was focusing on that. But anyway, that's my little, that's Lizzie. Um, and she is chilling underneath my magazine. When I came out here, she was like in my book, my um, manual for class. And when I turned the pages, she was just kind of chilling in between the pages and stayed right there. And then she finally just moved and went up under the um, magazine. But for some reason, she just does not seem to be nervous at all. And as much as I've been moving around and all that kind of stuff, she seems to kind of stick close. So, um, my daughter says it's because she can sense that I like her and that I'm not gonna hurt her. So, but anyway, that was all I wanted to um, share with you all. And I hope you enjoy this day here in the Carolinas. It is feeling very much like fall. Um, and make sure that you do something to celebrate um, the coming changes of fall 